Okay, so I got round to making another bag for my Dutch oven. I just want to show you something. Okay, let me just. So, uh, let me show you how I made it. Just very quickly, it's the same as what I did before. Um, turned it inside out, but I'll, let me just, I'll just flip it through. Okay, so I stitched along the sides. It was just a piece of square material, oblong material. Stitched the bottom up, stitched the sides up, then made two triangles at the bottom. Stitched them, just, just tacked them to there, and then stitched them along there. And then you'll see the result on the other side. This is really thick material. Uh, the stitching doesn't look much, but it, it isn't coming apart. This is like an, um, what they call that, uh, like a braid. So when you turn it back around through the right way, it's almost like a circle, very much ovally, but it's quite, yeah, it's big. So now I'm gonna try something different. I don't want to put, I want to put a rope around the top, but I don't want to stitch it. So I'm gonna try something else. I'm just, I've got to fold this over about, I want to fold this twice, and then I'll show you what I'm gonna do. Okay, fold one, fold two. So we're looking at about a two inch gap, maybe a little bit more than two, about two inches. That's a double fold there, okay? And then I'm gonna use some eyelets. So we need to arm ourselves with a nice block of wood, a solid floor, the tool, which is the little base, which the ring sits on, and then the oval turn. This will actually turn this over and then clip onto this with a bit of luck. Okay, right, so I've folded the edges over twice, like the original plan. Uh, and I forgot I'm gonna to have to use a heat tool. This is my heat tool. And this is my heat gun. I'm going to heat the end of this up and hopefully it should burn its way through. I'm going to make about six to eight holes and then we're going to put the studs in. Let's see how hot that is first. Get the bag, be careful. Oh yeah, oh yes, look at that. That's one. And what I'll do is one the opposite. So on that side. And you've got to be careful of your fingers. On that side. Actually might as well carry on for a bit. <coughs> So we're going to go opposite again, so you can see that one there, one there, so I'm going to put one here. Please mind your fingers. Okay, and then opposite again. I know you can't, can you see that? Yeah. Okay. And then, oh, another one there. That's the diesel heater going off. That has been on all night. I forgot all about it. That's how reliable it is. And that's another one there for now. Right, let's get these punched. I think, no, I'm gonna do two more. Then we're done then. And that's eight all together, I think. Okay, that's... Six, seven, eight. Okay, just let that cool down. Don't touch it, whatever you do. Okay, push one through. Lime down. You have to lime on the tool, which is like so. And then you put a washer over the top. You see that? Over the top, like so. Gotta get the rest. All right. And then play its tool on top. Get a suitable hammer. Hopefully that works.
Look at that. It looks professional, doesn't it? So I'm going to do, I've only got five at them, I've got some more coming. So I'm going to do five, uh, and then what I'll use then is a drawstring. So this is like a drawstring bag. This is to house my, um, let's do the opposite anyway. This is to house my um, Dutch oven. Show you in on top, sits nicely. Get um, said tool, line it up. Lock your fingers. Beautifully done. Look at that. Beautifully done. I'm putting this one right on the stitch line where I burnt the hole. I didn't burn it on the stitching, as you noticed. I've moved away from it, but I want it to stay together. So that's why I want this one done. There you go, how to make a drawstring bag for my Dutch oven. Let's just show you. There we go. Once the strings are in, absolutely perfect. That's it. If you enjoyed that video, give us a thumbs up, it'd be great. And a like and a subscribe. Subscribe button's over there, just down here. And then if you hit that, there's a notification bell comes up. Hit the notification bell. That tells you when the next videos are coming up. Got a couple more to do, but it's held it in place. That is great. I'm loving that. There we go. Superb. All right. And make sure you let your douche thing cool down. Still not cool yet. This is why I, this is a quarter inch drive and I put two together because this, this stays cool then. All right. Take care. We'll catch you in the next one.